An optimistic kickoff to trading Friday, just hours after a critical move by the U.S. Senate, averted what would have been the country's first ever default. The bill is passed. In a 63-36 vote, senators passed legislation that lifts the government's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling. The approval coming a day after the bill, which is backed by U.S. President Joe Biden, was okayed by the House of Representatives. Members of Congress from both parties came together to prevent a catastrophic default and demonstrated once more that America is a nation that pays its bills and meets its obligations. The White House update coming before Biden's Friday evening remarks. Earlier, he had called the steps taken on Capitol Hill a win for the economy. And time was running out. The U.S. Treasury had warned it would run out of funding starting June 5th if Congress failed to act by then. Lawmakers had been racing against the clock following months of partisan bickering. We may be a little tired, but we did it. So we're very, very happy. Top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer celebrating the overnight endorsement to lift the country's borrowing limit, while blaming his Republican colleagues for pushing the country to the brink of a historic debt default. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell tweeting in part, the Senate voted to avoid default and begin to curb Washington Democrats' addiction to reckless spending. The compromise deal, which has left some Democrats and Republicans dissatisfied, places a cap on non-defense spending, cuts some COVID relief funds, and hikes work requirements for some food stamp recipients. This would have been a first ever default. We've listed out what could have happened. We created a recession potentially, triggered a recession, lose millions of jobs, up to 8 million jobs, increased costs for all Americans. When we're talking about retirement account accounts and devastating paychecks, that's what could have happened by Monday if we didn't get this done. Stock markets making gains in the initial aftermath. A default would have put severe limits on the U.S. government's ability to pay off all its bills. And it would have threatened to put a dent in economies beyond its borders. The new legislation will suspend the nation's debt limit through to January 1st, 2025. Melissa Duggan, City News.